Welcome to morning prayer for Monday morning. O Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all, to you be praise and glory for ever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, may we rejoice in this day you have made. As we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. The psalm today is Psalm 80. Hear, O shepherd of Israel, you that led Joseph like a flock, shine forth you that are enthroned upon the cherubim before Ephraim, Benjamin and Manasseh, Stir up your mighty strength and come to our salvation. Turn us again, O God, show the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. O Lord God of hosts, how long will you be angry at your people's prayer? You feed them with the bread of tears. You give them abundance of tears to drink. You have made us the derision of our neighbours and our enemies laugh us to scorn. Turn us again, O God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance, and we shall be saved. You brought a vine out of Egypt. You drove out the nations and planted it. You made room around it, and when it had taken root, it filled the land. The hills were covered with its shadow, and the cedars of God by its boughs. It stretched out its branches to the sea, and its tendrils to the river. Why then have you broken down its wall, so that all who pass by pluck off its grapes. The wild boar out of the wood tears it off, and all the insects of the field devour it. Turn again, O God of hosts, look down from heaven and behold. Cherish this vine which your right hand has planted, and the branch that you made so strong for yourself. Let those who burnt it with fire, who cut it down, perish at the rebuke of your countenance. Let your hand be upon the man at your right hand, the son of man you made so strong for yourself. And so we will not go back from you. Give us life and we shall call upon your name. Turn us again, O Lord God of hosts. Show the light of your countenance and we shall be saved. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. The canticle is a song of deliverance. All the earth shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the nations. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion. For great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning is now and shall be for ever. Amen. All the earth shout and sing for joy, for great in your midst is the Holy One. We're reading from Mark's Gospel, chapter 15, beginning at verse 1. As soon as it was morning, the chief priests held a consultation with the elders and scribes and the whole council. They bound Jesus, led him away and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate asked him, 
Are you the king of the Jews? He answered, You say so. Then the chief priests accused him of many things. Pilate asked him again, Have you no answer? See how many charges they bring against you. But Jesus made no further reply, so that Pilate was amazed. Now at the festival he used to release a prisoner for them, anyone for whom they asked. Now a man called Barabbas was in prison with the rebels who had committed murder during the insurrection. So the crowd came and asked Pilate to do for them according to his custom. Then he answered them, Do you want me to release for you the king of the Jews? For he realised that it was out of jealousy that the chief priests had handed him over. But the chief priest stood up the cry to have him release Barabbas for them instead. Pilate spoke to them again, Then what do you wish me to do with the man you call the king of the Jews? They shouted back, Crucify him. Pilate asked them why, what evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas for them, and after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified. Here ends the reading. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. The Tidium. We praise you, O God. We acclaim you as the Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death, and open the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come and be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. So let us pray. Almighty God, we pray this morning for the stories making news headlines around our world. Father, we pray for our own country and our own local communities. We pray for the challenges and the difficulties that we are facing. Lord, we pray for our economy. Locally, we pray for our businesses and our shops, for our factories and for all those who are self-employed. Father, we pray today for those whose work is fraught or stressful or unfulfilling or dangerous. And we pray for those individuals and families who are struggling with unemployment. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. So let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, 
on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. So may the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.